recording so class 10 today's topic is about record buffers and record scope okay record buffers record buffer if a, if the process i mean uh, progress session required the same database table uh, same database tables field field data we have to require in two places so we should we cannot uh, we should not access the same database table and we cannot uh, call that uh, same database table in two places okay so with the buffers we can call the same database table fields in many places in the same session okay so syntax define buffer B, uh, buffer name for database table name okay i'll i'll give you here I'll, I'll text here, okay? What is record buffer? Database table. Table has single record in each table field. to access same record at multiple times in the same progress session, we can use record buffer by using below syntax okay okay so this example i'll give you uh, after uh, completing the record scoping definition okay you guys understand right for multiple call use we are using record buffers if you use multiple record buffers you can uh, access the same database table in multiple times in the same uh, progress session okay you can you, you, if you need that record buff i mean uh, record buffers and you can keep that record buffers in dot uh, i program and in dot um, i program means dot uh, i file we have uh, that is a internal file you you can uh, keep that buffers in one dot i file and you can utilize the dot i file in multiple dot uh, p files pro uh, progress files okay P for progress file, dot P files means, dot uh, I means uh, internal files. So you guys understand, right? So coming to the next topic, record scoping. Record scoping is totally depends upon um, scope of the record. We can call scope of the record. We can call like this or uh, when the record the uh, when the pro when the progress session reads from the uh, reads record from the database it stores the data to the record buffer okay from the source buffer to the record is uh, transferring to the record buffer we can uh, uh, make it as record scope okay when the progress session 
reads the data from the data or record okay data or record from the database it will stores stores in record buffer this this scope of the record will be available in the record buffer when the record will be available in the record buffer then we'll call it as scope of i mean record scoping okay it's a one of the i mean it's uh, you can you guys can say like this okay when the when record is available in the record buffer we can call it as record scoping okay there are three types of record i mean records uh, record scoping is uh, there are three types of uh, record scoping those are strong scope weak scope and free reference strong scope weak scope free reference okay strong scope weak scope and free reference these are the three types of record scoping strong scope which does not limits the transaction scope okay which does not limits the you can you don't say uh, transaction limit i mean transaction scope okay if you guys say transaction scope where they'll ask you what is transaction scope but then then you got, you only raising that uh, one more question to the interviewer so don't say like this which does not limits to the record scoping record scoping i'll give you the example after uh, completing the theory session okay now itself uh, okay okay then uh this is the strong scope for uh, for this examples are do for and repeat for examples do for sorry do for and repeat for okay for weak scope which limits the record scoping okay which limits to record scoping free reference okay which limits to the record scoping Ex i mean examples for each okay free reference for free reference all other references 
will take it as free reference okay other than other than strong scope and weak scope we call free reference okay for these examples find available and display for display i gave the examples already so i actually uh, if we need to run a query we have to use display okay for this one we'll call it as a free reference okay you guys understand the theory session please let me know if you have any questions i'll go to the examples for this record buffer and uh, record i mean record scoping types please let me know if you guys have any questions otherwise you don't have i'll go to next topic i mean for exam i am mean, i'm going to give a example for this yeah continue okay then i'm going to give the examples for you okay um define buffer b uh buffer underscore customer for customer customer table okay so we are taking buffer to the customer table so it is storing the same uh, customer table buffer i mean customer table to the buffer copy okay for each customer where customer dot one second we'll take some uh, validations here display customer dot country we can take finland for this for buffer okay buffer copy where customer dot c country equals to it's a character field so we have to keep this in a double quotes full jar finland then find first customer so already we have uh, taken right we, we just uh, take buffer copy okay buffer copy buffer copy of uh, customer dot sorry dot not dot okay no lock did i give no lock for uh, lock so i missed here where no lock so don't use um, share lock okay no lock where where
state i am uh, taking a state and i'm just taking some other fields okay buffer i'll take this copy this and i'll keep it in none condition some some other city and customer number we can keep for for first 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 example we'll keep uh, like this and we'll take another example here only okay we can keep no error no error no wait then if available if it is available only it has to display that buffer is available then only display the data then display I'm running. See, you guys able to see, right? Whatever the data we are finding, okay? So we are getting that uh, buffer, I mean, customer table is available, then it is uh, able to get the states. I mean, that states, which is equals to that, and we, it, we are able to get that Finland related cities and uh, its states, okay? if we are going to do if it is less than some customer number we can display what we'll get so if we have less than that customer number, we have only this kind of, I mean, only one, only one customer number will be there, okay? Less than uh, customer number. Then we can change these conditions to here. I mean, uh, we'll get different results if you keep a buffer uh, like this for, I mean, we have to place main customer table here be first and after buffer customer we'll see what will get the result whether it uh, will get the same result what we got already where where a kakla sorry sorry ah uh, while uh, cutting that uh... same line is equal e, e sorry e, yes account. yes So we got the same thing. So we have, we should not take buffer. I mean, buffer, uh, if you are, if you guys are calling buffer in second, I mean, uh, first is we are calling uh, main table and we are calling second time is uh, buffer table. We have to keep buffer uh, table, um, table field first. Later on that, uh, uh, for main table, 
next okay we have to take like this it's it's a syntax it's a uh, syntax we have to follow okay this is the one of the example for buffers okay record buffers okay we have to follow like that only it's a uh, processor uh, we have to follow few rules okay it's a one of the rule okay so we have covered this available statement this available statement also we we can use um, for this one also we can call uh, we can take it as example if available only the record will be displaying if if we don't have i mean if we don't have uh, that that record you just keep not uh, not here and you can you can able to see not here and we can run it if that buffer table is not available it will show like this record is available buffer no no buffer record is available like this it will display okay like this okay if available only then that record will be uh, uh, we are able to get the output so like this we have to do okay so for this one free reference also we can uh, take it as example this one for each find available display also we have uh, covered and uh, find find also we have covered we can take this as example okay you guys understand yes sir then coming to the uh, strong score we are taking do for and repeat for right we can edit this mm. we can remove this one we can take this as example and we can do okay define variable v underscore limit as integer integer no under okay then do for customer customer find first customer no lock where uh, country equals to finland then display okay okay we'll see we'll display and also we customer dot credit limit also we can display okay customer dot credit limit okay now we are able to get the credit limit for the customer this one okay if that customer assign okay assign i am giving uh, assign to the uh, limit i am assigning that credit limit to the this one and 
I'm finding. Okay, find first customer. No lock. Where customer dot credit limit is less than we can take no we don't have any uh, more records right so we can take equals to v underscore limit no lock no wait no error okay display this okay here yeah. whether it will it gonna be display or not we'll see see previous phase we are unable to see i mean we, we are unable to one second no error no wait let's see one more we'll get some errors for this See, we cannot use, okay, we cannot access inside do for, do for customer that value limit, that uh, credit limit value, we cannot get that value outside the do for customer, okay. We cannot access outside, I mean, in uh, access data outside the do for customer, okay. You guys understand, right? If you guys need to uh, access the data, you just keep that uh, example. So I'll keep the, the same uh, outside block, find block, and I'll able to access that date. See, I'm going to run this one. So v underscore something is happening here. One second, let me see. No lock. Where credit limit? V limit. Uh, previous phase or option unable to understand after V limit. Okay, now it will. Run. Yeah, you guys see, right? You guys able to see? We just run this. See, that display won't be displayed, okay? We can just keep uh, this width same. Yeah, we'll see. The data will be also okay. Like this, we have to define, and we have inside that. Uh, I mean, we can access the data inside the do for loop. We cannot access the data outside the do for loop. Okay, if we are going to now, you guys understand, right? Yes, sir. Then example number two. Week scope. Okay. Now, examples for week scope. For each statement, right? We just keep the same thing outside that, and we'll we'll take it as in the place of uh, do for. We'll remove this one, and for each, we'll take directly the. For first customer, we can take directly. Okay, we can uh, see what will happen. So for first customer, 
do we have able to get the output or not unable to understand after one second i have to remove these things actually don't use uh, no wait no error for for each okay see i am able to access the uh, v limit data outside the end statement in the weak scope so you guys understand right what uh, how weak scope and how um, strong scope strong scope will work it will limits yes, and it won't limits no limits will be available for for i mean um, uh, weak scope for strong scope it has limits so we should not use that uh, variable outside the block okay for free reference globally we can use whatever the, we can display anywhere the data and we, if it is available and if uh, if we have a find statement then we can uh, refer to the free reference okay these are the topics we have uh, covered today please do exercises on this okay please do ex uh, elaborate Elo please elaborate record scoping and record buffers with two examples don't copy my examples okay you just need to practice your own examples and you have to send it okay assignment okay if you have any questions please let me know the session will be end by 1 minute or otherwise you can post the questions in whatsapp for conditional uh, blocks we can take uh, this record scoping examples okay so what i missed is triggered blocks examples and uh, procedure block examples and 